rise up. Today is the day you rise up. We hear my voice. Hear the voice. The voice is the word of this uh, of the Bible. The voice of the Most High God is this Bible. We ye careless daughters. Ye careless daughters, because our sisters are careless as hell. They are laid out with a man don't know him from Tom, Dick, and Harry. They are laid out with any man. If he got a little money, he could get them high. He could pleasure them for that 30 minutes. Our sisters are hell. They careless. They don't care. They'll bring them around their daughters. But really, he don't want he don't want you. He wants your little daughter. You gotta understand that. He wants your son. That's why it says arise, you careless daughters. Alright, Shalom, sister. Hey, what's your name? Brittany? Hey, Brittany. So what the soldier was bringing out is that we are the Israelites. Okay? Did you understand that we that we are the Israelites? You do, right? So let's let the furthermore prove that we are that you know we are the Israelites. Let's see who Moses was talking to right here. Let's go to Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter one and verse one. Let's see who Moses was talking to, right? These be the words which Moses spake unto all Israel. And to all who? Unto all Israel. And to all Israel. Keep in mind that the curses that the soldier was bringing out pertain to who? All Israel. To all Israel. To the Israelites. Yes. So let's go to let's go to more of these curses to see are we the, the biblical Israelites? Go uh, go back to well, go uh, go to forty two. Deuteronomy chapter twenty eight and verse forty two. All these trees. No no forty. 46. That's what I want. 46. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 46. Uh -huh. And these shall be upon thee for a sign and, and for a wonder. So these curses are going to be upon us for a sign. Okay, so how do we know this is Benedict, Benedict Apartment Complex? It's a sign that tells us this is Benedict Complex, right? Right. So the Bible says these curses was going to be on the children of Israel for a sign. Yeah. So, the sign that we have is slavery. If you look on this sign right here, we was taken to slavery by the, the Arab man, the African man, the so-called white man, took us into slavery. Right. And it, the, our history is the Bible. But for some reason, people hate to admit that this is us. Right. Because the Bible says, hey, this y'all. If y'all get right, the Most High God is going to redeem y'all and save y'all out of y'all captivity. Yes, right. But we're so sensitive when it comes to the topic of slavery. But guess what? Slavery is our history. It's our sign. It's our sign. You understand that? That we are the children of Israel. Right. Give me Romans 8, uh, 16 real quick. Hold that. Give me Romans 8, 16. Yeah, Read. Romans chapter 8 and verse 16. Uh -huh. oh. The spirit itself bearing witness with our spirit. So the spirit is this is this Bible, these curses. The spirit of this Bible bear witness that we are the children of Israel. What is what are some things that bear witness? Slave ships. Did you know that's in the Bible, Brittany? Bring it up. Your pastor ever taught you that slavery is in the Bible. When we when, when the so-called white man came and got us from the west coast of Africa, where did he bring us? Where? What land did he bring us to? No, when he, when he brought us out of Africa, where did he bring us? To the States, here in America, to the islands. He did that. So, the Bible bared record to that thing. Did you know that? You said no. How long you, have you been going to church? All your, in South America, that's exactly right. You said all your life? So, all these men out here, we have been going to, we was going to church our entire life. Right. Our grandparents was going to church their entire life. Right. right. But no one ever opened the Bible and taught us nothing out of the Bible. Right. Other than right. give, give, give tithes to the pastor. Right. That's the only thing they taught us. Right. Right. They didn't say, Brittany, hey, sister, you got to dress like a, a, a princess of the Most High God. Right. You got to put that beautiful dress on. Right. They didn't tell you that. They told you what? Give pastor the money so he can roll around in the bins. That's what I told you. Right. So you can pay his light bill at his, his mansion. So you can buy him a $63 million jet. That's what they taught us. But let's go back into these curses. 
Read. Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. yep. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with shit. So it says, and the Lord, the Most High God brought us into Egypt again with ships. So if you know anything about, uh, the, uh, you ever heard of Moses? Moses delivered us out of Egypt, right? When he delivered us out of Egypt, he parted the Red Sea and we walked across, right? So the Bible said the Lord shall bring you back into Egypt by the way of what? With ships. With ships. You understand that? So we go. We gonna break this verse down. Let's go. Let's deal with the Egypt. Go to Deuter uh, Exodus twenty. And read that. Exodus chapter twenty and verse two. Uh huh. No, I am the Lord thy God, uh -huh. which have brought thee out of the land of Egypt. Out of the land of Egypt, read. Out of the house of bondage. Out of the house of bondage, because Egypt is a, a word that's synonymous for bondage. Right. You know another word for bondage? Anybody know another word for bondage? Chains. What else? Shackles, what else? Whoa, so that is a form of what? Captivity, also known as slavery. Huh. That's here in the Bible. That's right. The Bible tells us that we were going to go, go back into Egypt by the way of slave ships. Right. But the pastors never read us that. Go back to Deuteronomy 28. Read. By the way, we well, start from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. So wait, we find out that Egypt means what? Slavery, also known as bondage. Read. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Uh huh. By the way, whereof I spake unto thee. Uh huh. Thou shalt see it no more again. Thou shalt see your homeland no more again. What is our homeland? What is the motherland? Bring it up. Egypt, right? That's, a, that's the common answer. However, we are not from Egypt. We are from Jerusalem. At one point, was a part of Africa, Northern Africa. But guess what? The so-called white man, so crafty, he, uh, he dug a canal called the Suez Canal. He dug an artificial body of water to separate us from the land. So today it's called Jerusalem. You understand that? All right? Read that. Galatians 4. Galatians chapter 4 and verse 26. Uh -huh. But Jerusalem, which is above, is free. It says Jerusalem, which is above, is free. Read. Which is the mother of us all. Which is the what? Which is the mother of us all. Which is the mother of us all, the motherland. Why do you think so many people are fighting over this country? Why? Bring it up. Why are you thinking so many wars over in the Middle East? What? Because... They know that this land belongs to the children of Israel. Yeah. You, Brittany, you brothers across the street, you my brothers across the street, my little sisters right here, Jerusalem is your homeland. Right. But the Bible said because we was disobedient and didn't listen to God, we're not going to see our land again. Right. Go back to Deuteronomy 28, 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. yeah. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with to, ships. Into slavery again with ships. Read. By the way whereof I spake unto thee. Just like I said it's going to happen, that's how it's going to happen. Read. Thou shalt see it no more again. You shall see your homeland, which is what, Brittany? Jerusalem. Read. And there, and there ye shall, ye shall be sold unto your enemies. There, once you got those slave ships here in America, over in the, the land of uh, Jamaica, Haiti, the Caribbean, guess what? You was going to be sold unto your enemies, not your friends. That's right. Your enemy. The most high God say you have enemies, Brittany. Right. Everybody like to say, oh, we don't have no enemies. God loves everybody. But hey, if you don't believe that we have enemies, you don't believe in the Bible. Right. Right. Because the Bible says you have enemies. Not me. Right. None of these men up here say uh, that you have enemies off our own ways. Right. We get it from the Bible. Right. Read. For bond men, for slave men, because for some reason people always think it was men and slavery. No, it was also women in slavery. Right. Read that. And bond women. And slave women. It was men and women on that slave ship. That's right. Children and infants. Right. It was pregnant sisters on that slave ship. Read. And no man shall buy you. Martin Luther King came what? No. Hold on, hold on. It says no man shall buy you, meaning no man can redeem you. All these great nations, all these great men, I say, tried to save us. Mark, Malcolm X, Martin Luther King, Dear Mike Vesey, uh, give me another one. Sir General Truth. Sir General Truth. 
Hey, sis, none of these men was able to save us from our bondage. You understand? We tried. We tried everything. We tried marching. We tried voting. Did you vote, Brittany? All right, give me Deuteronomy 17 real quick. Let me show you what the Bible says about voting. Because we've been voting for so many years, but guess what? No change in the black community. Right. We've been voting for years. My grandma been voting for over 70 years, and she's still living in the ghettos. Right. She, hey, she still get treated like a dang old nigga in her job. Hey, I know these men right here vote. I know they voted. But look, they just chilling. Hey, the vote has done nothing for our people. Right. You see our communities? When Donald Trump became president, right? This community looked like this. When Obama was the president, this community looked like this. Right. When Kennedy was the president, this community looked like this. Where's the change at? When Donald Trump became the president, you think murder was on stop? Obama tried to stop it, guess what? It got worse when he got in office. Yeah. He's from Chicago, and guess what? They still killing in Chicago. What? Yeah. Only way it's going to change is we come back to God's commandments. Hey, right. read that. Deuteronomy chapter 17 and verse 15. Uh -huh. Thou shalt in any wise set him a king over thee. So the Bible says you shall in, any, in no wise set a king over you. Read. Whom the Lord thy God shall choose. So only way you can set a king over you is the most high God choose him. We know that the most high God did not choose Donald Trump. Right. But the most high God, God did set him over us to make us get back right. He said, hey, you know what? I'm a, I am going to put Donald Trump in office. I'm going to set him up to doggone punish y'all behind. Y'all don't want to come back to my commandments? I'm going to put him in there. Really? I'm going to tell you how, how all Americans really feel. And really? guess what? That's happening. Really? He said, hey, he said, all your Hispanic brothers, guess what? They got to go. They got to go. All your Haitian brothers, they got to go. Right. Read. One from among thy brethren. So, this is how you know the most high God put him over there. We One from amongst thy brethren shall thou set king over thee. So, he said if you're going to vote, you're supposed to vote. Well, the most high God going to set one from among your brethren over you. Is Donald Trump our brother? No. Let me tell you, Donald Trump, his great grandparents, guess what? They the ones that brought our ass over here. Bring it out. Bring it out. You vote for the same system that brought us over here. Right. The same people that brought us over here and paid, that funded us to come from Africa. Right. That's right. Bring it out. But so, what's the problem? Why do we go into, why, why did these curses come upon us? We're going to deal with some simple laws. Give me Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Because for, because for some reason, we think that some people say slavery was a choice. I know Kanye says slavery was a choice. Slavery, yeah, yeah it was a choice. The most high God said, hey, you can either do my commandments or don't, and you got to go in slavery. We had a choice as a, as a nation. But you know what? We are rebellious people. We got sisters getting mad at us because we tell them, hey, sister, you're a daughter of the most high God. Take them pants off and put a dress on. Right. You got people mad at us. You got brothers mad at us because we tell them to stand up in his mathful place and stop being effeminate and come back to the laws of the most high God. Right. Hey, it's time for us to rise up as a people. Hold that. Give me uh, give me uh, uh, Isaiah 32 and 8. Hold that. Because for one, we told the brother to rise up. But guess what? Our sisters got to rise up as well. You know that, right? Read that. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 8. Uh -huh. Chapter liberal. No, 32 and verse 9. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Rise up, ye women, why right. are at ease. Hey, hey, hey. Read it again. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Uh -huh. Rise up, ye women. Rise up, ye women. Brittany, sister Brittany, rise up. We that are at ease because right now our sisters are at ease. Yes, they right. think these men, these no good Negroes, are gonna take care of them. What? Right. Hey, you come, you you stop sinning, come into the laws of the Most High God. The Most High God will see you that righteous vessel, yes. that righteous man to lead yes. the household. Yes. I'm looking at your family since you got a beautiful family, right? right. Where is the man? Somewhere in the streets. And guess what? That's when the prophets of the Most High God are going to stand up and say, we'll take those kids in. 
we gonna teach them how to be the children of the Most High God. Right. We gonna teach them the laws of the Most High God. But first, we need you, Brittany, to rise up, make the decision. Hey, I'm gonna come to the school. I'm gonna learn. I'm gonna happen until you apply the scripture. Right. Right. And guess what? We not out here to, to break you down. We out here to lift you up. Right. Right. Lift you up from the decaying state that we all out here have been taught. Right. right. We all have been taught to go. Hey, hey, we used to think it was a cool thing to go out here and lay with multiple women. Right. Hey, that's why you got so many STDs, HIV, because we was taught that was cool. But every, just, hey, I think they say one out of every four people in America got herpes. Imagine that. One out of four people. And brothers be quick to lay down with these sisters. Sisters be quick to lay down with these brothers. You know. That's disgusting, sis. The most high God did not ordain that. That's why our brothers die in the base. We live in the popul the the, uh, the statistics in AIDS. The blacks and Spanish and Native Americans. Why? Because we quit to stick our rod up in something. Our sisters quit to lay down with a brother. Because we can't control our damn hormones. But guess what? The promise of the most high God, we're gonna give you the medicine today. Read that from the top. Isaiah chapter 32 and verse 9. Uh -huh. oh. Rise up! Ye women that are at ease. My beautiful sister Brittany, rise up. Today is the day you rise up. Please. Hear my voice. Hear the voice. The voice is the word of, this, uh, of the Bible. The right. voice of the Most High God is this Bible. Right. We, Ye careless daughters. Ye careless daughters, because our sisters are careless as hell. They are laid out with a man don't know him from Tom, Dick, and Harry. They are laid out with any man. If he got a little money, he can get them high. He can pleasure them for that 30 minutes. Our sisters are hell. They careless. They don't care. They'll bring them around their daughters. But really, he don't want he don't want you. He wants your little daughter. You gotta understand that. He wants your son. That's why it says arise, you careless daughters. We're not out here to beat our sisters down. We out here to tell them to rise up. That's right. We give ear unto my speech. Give ear to this Bible. Okay? You understand that, sis? You understand that we love you, right? Read that, uh, Deuteronomy 22 and 5. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The woman shall not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. Okay, so I'm going to ask y'all little sisters. Hey, you ever seen a boy with a dress on? Never? What about you? You ever seen a man with a dress on? You I have? Did. You did? How did that look? Gay. It looked gay. Right. According to the Bible, right. effeminate sodomite. The little girl knows it's wrong. But our sisters and our brothers for some reason think it's okay. Hey, but guess what? We not out here to tell you no 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 smooth words, no fair speeches. We gonna give you just say the Lord, alright? Read that from the top. Do you want me? Chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh-huh. The woman should not wear that which pertained unto a man. Okay. Hey, little sis, come here. Come here. You right here. Come here. Come here. Yeah, you. Come here. Come here, little bro. All right, look, I want you to look at what you got on and what you got on, okay? What you got on that he got on. Oh, I don't got nothing Okay, look again. What, what y'all see that they got on that's a life? Shoes. What else? Pants. 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 Okay. So guess what? The Most High God said that our women, our daughters, our, pr our princesses, because all of y'all are princesses. You're a king. You understand? You're a God on this earth. You understand me? Don't let nobody tell you different. You hear me? Okay, so the Most High God said that our daughter of Sarah, which you, 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 Brittany, all of y'all are, should not wear pants. That's right. Okay? So if y'all can, if y'all got dresses, put your dress on. Your pretty, long dress, okay? Because, y listen, I, listen, I know you can't play like you want to in a dress, right? But guess what? You got the, you want, you want to go to heaven? No. You don't want to go to heaven? Y'all don't, all right, I got a question. You want to go to heaven? Do y'all do y'all wanna do y'all wanna go see the true black messiah? Yeah. Y'all do. So guess what? You got to take those pants off. The only no. way. Listen, I know it might be hard, what? but we got to take those pants off. You understand what I'm saying, what sis? You do? What you do? Okay, I'm gonna tell you. Y'all y'all like y'all like mommy going to work? Yeah. Y'all y'all like mommy going to work? Yeah. What if mommy could take care of y'all without going to work? Oh. Y'all would love to have mommy home, right? No. Yeah. You don't know to have mommy home? No. Y'all love to have daddy in the house? Yeah. Yeah, I love mommy. 
my daddy in the you house. Would? You Yeah, so guess what? We got to keep God's commandments so we can have mama and daddy at the house ruling the world. How that sound? Good. Y'all want to rule the world? Yeah. So guess what we got to do? We got to come out of those pants. You understand oh, that? It's cold, but listen. Guess what? I, look, look right here on the sign. Look, what, what the sign that with the sister in the dress? Give me the sign with the sister in the dress. Let me show you something. Let me show you. Look, look at this. Hey, hey. Look at this right here. Look at this right here. Look. You see this? Yeah. She had a dress on during slavery, right? Yeah. It was cold outside. She still came outside and worked. She had to go in slavery. And she had a dress on. You understand? Oh. He don't have clothes on because that's how they did our men in slavery. Yes. That's how they did us. They stripped us down naked. Hold on. I know. It. Listen. They stripped us down naked and sold us to our enemies because we was disobedient to God. Because our sisters didn't stop wearing pants. Because our young brothers uh, didn't want to keep God's commandments. That's why we got to come back to God's commandments. Y'all understand that? Yes. I want y'all to stick around. I'm going to ask, ask y'all this question. What color is Jesus Christ? Oh, white. 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 Black. You think black? White. 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 What you think, Sister Brittany? You think he black? Black people can make different colors and races. Exactly. So, but it's not about color. It's about nationality according to the Bible, okay? And we're going to show y'all that. Let's finish that. Deuteronomy 22 and 5. And then we're going to get the image of Christ, okay? Okay. All right, y'all Y'all step back just a little bit. Right there. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Hey, 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 Sister Brittany, I want you to pay attention to this. I want you to tell me what the scripture means. Read. The woman should not wear that which pertaineth unto a man. It says the woman. Okay, so we're talking about the women. What should a woman put on? I mean, what shouldn't a woman put on that pertains to a man? Pants, right? What you say, Brittany? Pants, right? I know you, listen, sis, I know you've been raised to say, well, wear pants. Pants is okay. You got to understand, before the 40s, none of our, our foremothers wore pants. As you just seen on the picture, uh, our sister, when we was in slavery, they had dresses on. I understand you said how boys like to yeah. lift your dress up, this and that. But you got to understand. You got to understand that. That's all excuses. The chances of a boy, you walking down the road in a dress, modest dress, and a man a man coming up to lift your dress up, how, how, how likely is that? Very likely. Listen, well, that's, let me tell you why. Because you got the wrong, the wrong kind of men are around. Because, oh, just listen, just listen. My wife has been in a dress for three years straight. And not one man has walked up and lifted her dress she, up. She's not out here with me. That's what I'm saying. You get what I'm saying? If you rise back up, come keep it God's commandments, the most I got to deliver you out of this situation here. That's what we out here saying. You understand that? Yep. All right, so read that from the top. Deuteronomy chapter 22 and verse 5. Uh -huh. The woman should not wear that which pertains unto a man. So, Sister Brittany, we talked about rising up. This is how you rise up. Come out of those pants. Oh, you understand that? <laughs> put that beautiful dress on. You understand? Read. Neither shall a man put on a woman's garment. And you brothers out here that like to wear dresses, like to put dress up, take them dresses off. Stop following your thug. Stop taking amazement of Tyler Perry. Uh, Kevin Hart. These brothers that put dresses on, they are effeminate men, and they help, they help destroy the black communities. All right. So, I asked y'all what color Jesus the Christ was. You say black. black. You say black. black. You say black. 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 You say black. 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 All right. Black. So, okay. So, let's see. You think he white? Yeah. All right. What you say? You say black? Hey, you are, you brothers over there. What color is Jesus the Christ? What color is What color is Jesus the Christ? He's white. All right. So, if we prove out of the Bible that Jesus the Christ is a black man, how is that going to make you feel? It's going to make you feel better. Me too, bro. We. Revelation, say the word. Hey, hold on, hold on. Hey, make sure you got a, you got a flyer. You, hey, sis, we got a contact number on the back of that flyer, okay? Our school is literally two blocks up. It's two blocks up. Yes, uh, up the hill. So, sis, you can come at 4 o'clock, okay? Come at 4 o'clock. Learn. We got sisters there that will show you how our women act. How, how sisters used to be out here in these same communities. But it have changed. You understand that? 
Come to the school. All right. We'll, we'll see you at 4 o'clock, Lord's willing. All right. Yes, if you don't have a dress, we got one for you. All praises. All praises. So, let's find out what color Jesus the Christ is. Read that. Revelation chapter 1 and verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. Okay. Show me which picture got white woolly hair. This one. Hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Not white picture. Which one has white hair? That one. Look at that picture there. So that, the, one, that, one, that one, right? That's the same person. That's the same person, right? Yeah. So the Bible says he had white woolly hair. Feel your hair. Feel, feel your sister's hair. Guess what? Y'all got the same hair as he do. Yes, right. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We all black. Officer oh, Gad, come here. Look at his hair. Look at his hair. He got hair like him. Look at this right here. He got hair like him. He got hair just like him, right? Yeah. You see that? That's the hair that you have. That's the hair that Jesus the Christ has. Just like that. Look at that brother. What? That's pure wool. That's beautiful hair. Okay? This man here don't have pure wool. He has dog hair. That's dog hair. I'm, I'm, it's brown, but guess what? It's not wool. Yeah, like wolf. You see that? That's what, that's what kind of hair Jesus got. Y'all understand that? That's Jesus. Huh? It says what? Jesus Christ, right? All right. Well, I'm finna show you. Listen, read. Look, listen, read. Revelation chapter one, verse fourteen. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. The hair on his head was white and woolly in texture. Okay. You see that brother over there with the red sweat on? He got woolly hair. You got hair like Jesus the Christ, bro. You hear me? You got pure wool. Don't let nobody tell you anything different, bro. But listen, hey, I want you to come over here, man. Because listen, I guarantee these little kids look up to you. You need to come over here and hear this word so you can teach them the word of God, bro. Come on over here, man. Put that cigarette out. Come on. Come on, bro. Read that from the top. Revelation chapter 1, verse 14. Uh -huh. His head and his hairs were white like wool. His hair and his head was white like wool. Jesus the Christ had white woolly hair. Read. As white as snow. As white as snow. Read. And his eyes were as the flame of fire. So Jesus Christ's eyes, the whites of his eyes was white. I mean, it was red. You see it right here? You see that right there? Read. Let's find out. Genesis chapter 49 verse 12. Uh -huh. His eyes shall be red with wine. Y'all know like when, when your mama oh, or daddy drink. What color did the eyes turn? Red. Red. Cause I yeah, cause Jesus and Christ draw wine. I know when they um when they um um. Alright, read that. High, when high. Read. High, like. Okay, read. Revelation chapter one verse fourteen. So why was his eyes red? Why was Jesus' eyes red? Because he was hot. No, he was not hot. Cause he was drinking wine. Jesus and Christ drank wine. Okay. Read verse fifteen. And his feet like unto fine brass. So what color is brass? Green is, brass is green? Oh, brown. Brass is brown. So Jesus oh. Christ just said his feet was brown. Right. So what color is Jesus? Brown. He's a black man, right? I told you. All praise. Read. As if they burned in a furnace. So it says if they burn. So if you burn popcorn, what color it turn? White. Brown. Black. If you burn, if you burn, if you take, listen. Oh, yeah. If you take a, a paper towel or something and it burns, what color it turn? Black. Black. So it says Jesus' feet was brown, right? Yeah. As if they burned in a furnace. So you ever see a person that's standing in the sun a long time? Yeah. What color would it be? Black. It'd be real black. So Jesus Christ was a dark skinned man. <laughs>
Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up, Israel. Wake up. Wake up. Israel, welcome home. Bishop Nathaniel of Israel United in Christ. Please subscribe to our YouTube channels. Stay up to date with our latest events, music, and classroom lessons. IUIC plans to continue visiting different countries where this gospel has not been preached before. IUIC needs your help in pushing this truth. So join us, subscribe to our Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and podcasts, and stay up to date with us. For more information, please visit www.israelunite.org.